This is how we create a future where vehicles we drive won't harm the environment that we cherish. The federal government committing to reduce pollution from public and personal transportation, which they say will be critical in order for Canada to hit its 2050 climate targets. The transportation sector accounts for one quarter of Canada's greenhouse gas emissions. To reduce this pollution, the feds have mandated that by 2035, all cars and passenger trucks sold will be zero emission. To help reach this goal, a new investment of $2.5 million has been made to expand charging infrastructure across the prairies, adding around 400 electric vehicle charging stations in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. It's hard to... Um you know, buy an electric vehicle and uh, get around town if you don't have the charging infrastructures. The funds come from Natural Resource Canada's Zero Emission Vehicle Infrastructure Program. The new EV chargers will be installed in public spaces, multi-unit residential buildings and workplaces. Terry Duguid says federal rebates of up to $5,000 are helping more Canadians make the switch to electric vehicles, with some provinces offering even more incentive to make the switch. The two big markets uh, have been Quebec and uh, and British Columbia because their their incentives are the most uh, the most generous. Now Manitoba should be the electric car and truck capital of Canada because, as you know, we have the cheapest uh, electricity in uh, in North America. Wherever you are in Canada, whether you're in Quebec, BC, or Alberta, it's always cleaner to drive an electric car. Daniel Breton with nonprofit Electric Mobility Canada says it's cleaner and cheaper to drive an electric vehicle. The upfront cost to buy an EV is variable depending on the make and model. However, Breton says when it comes to the cost of fuel versus electric, it's far more economical to ditch the petroleum and plug in. On average, if a person pays 15 cents per kilowatt hour at home to charge their EV, a 60 kilowatt battery would cost about $2.25 per 100 kilometers to drive. Compare that to using eight liters of gasoline per 100 kilometers at around $2 per liter at the pump, totaling $16 per 100 kilometers to drive. 225 versus $16. So that's easy enough to calculate. Charging EVs on the road will cost more, between $5 and $10 per 100 kilometers, says Breton, who suspects the cost will come down with the advancement and expansion of EV technology. 10, 12 years ago, you would have the average electric car would have um, a range of about 120 kilometers. Today, the average electric car has a range between 400 and 500 kilometers. Duguid says expanding the national network of EV charging stations should make it easier and cheaper for Canadians to go electric. To date, the federal government has approved more than 33,000 EV chargers to be installed across the country. It's important to take action now to electrify our fleet of tomorrow. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.